Hi guys, my name is Sam Murphy and welcome to my channel. Now, I'm talking to you today about how you show up in your business and be camera ready even when you think and you feel like you're not. It's going to be a juicy one. I'm Sam Murphy, welcome to my channel where I'll show you how to make visibility effortless. Now, take me back a couple of years ago and I had just become a new mum and I was completely working for myself by this point because the wonderful employers made me redundant just as I went on maternity leave. So um, I had no choice but to take my business, which I'd been running part-time, um, into full-time, full steam ahead, let's do this. And boy, was that a shock. It was like, that first year of motherhood is really really hard like the hardest job on the planet um and I, let me tell you my boy did not sleep like he didn't sleep for 18 months so that first year was really difficult and i can tell you that this this any of this did not exist um however i knew that to make my business work i had to show up I had to put my face on camera, I had to start talking to my audience, I had to just get myself out there. So how did I do that? Um, that's what I'm going to share with you guys today because I know that there are a ton of you that really struggle with this and I've had feedback recently from, from my audience, from my community because sometimes I'll show up like this and sometimes I'll show up you know, like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. And they like it, they like the fact that I do both. So I'm gonna talk you through some of the little things that I do when I need to show up and I'm not looking my best. It does happen, like, a lot. Okay, so the first thing I had to figure out was exactly just how far I was gonna push it, or I was gonna let it go <laughs> when it came to looking like what I refer to as a complete tramp. That's why the lady is a tramp. So I had to kind of find that comfort zone, that place where I'd look in the mirror and go, oh no, no, you need to go back. You need to go back into the dark, like, into the bathroom. Or you'd go, hmm, yeah, okay, let's just do it. Um, and for me, my comfort zone was... Um, was making sure that I had moisturiser on. It's going to sound ridiculous, but this is it. I had moisturiser on so my skin looked good. I br I'd actually brush my hair um, and I clean my teeth. Now, I know that from a camera point of view, the thing that you probably only would see would be the brushing of the hair. Um, the rest of it was just for me. It was just the confidence thing for me. So you need to find that place of where you feel like you're at least, you can at least smell your comfort zone. <laughs> you need to be able to touch it. It's almost like, yeah, okay, that's fine. You know, so for me, if I hadn't brushed my hair, if I hadn't put my moisturiser on so that my skin didn't look like it was about to fall off my face, um, and I brushed my teeth, I hadn't done any of that, and trust me, ladies that have had children, you know that that's quite difficult, um, I wouldn't have come online. So those were the first kind of things that um, I had to deal with. And it helps, you know, it massively helped because it's just giving you those small stepping stones um, to allow you to step out in your comfort zone. You know, step out, be within that comfort zone or at least within smelling distance of that comfort zone and be able, you know, give you kind of that confidence to be able to do what it is that you need to do on that particular day. So my first point, my first little you know, bit was brush hair, clean teeth, moisturiser. That was my my kind of three-pronged attack at the very, very beginning. And certainly you go through, go back, like not on my YouTube channel, but if you go back through some of my live on Facebook and stuff, <laughs> I honestly, honestly, but you know what? That's what I did to make my business work. And you have to find that place, your place, and it's different for everyone, but you have to find that place that just makes you go, yeah, okay, I can do this today. Um, and those are my three things to start me off. Now, the second layer to this, um, and this would come in effect like uh, if you're doing video for a sales page maybe, um, if you were doing 
I know something that's going to be around for a while. Um, maybe you were being you're being interviewed with someone, or um, you're going to be a present on somebody else's channel. So you need to kind of up your game a little bit. Um, and for me, the thing that kind of entered my mind was makeup. You know, um, I needed to put some makeup on. I've got to look my best. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, but seriously, you know, I just did not have the time to do that. Um, and I had very limited time for working as well, which is something I should mention because although now, um, you know, most of the time you will see me with, you know, relatively looking good, <laughs> as good as it can be. Um, but I have a lot more time now. You know, in that first year, I literally had about 10 hours a week um, to do everything that I needed to do. So spending maybe half an hour, 40 minutes putting makeup on was just not business priority. But you know, for those sort of times when you are doing something that you need to be, you know, a little bit more camera ready for, um, on top of the cleaning the teeth, the brushing the hair and the moisturiser, um, my thing was mascara. So I would make sure that um, I had mascara on. If I had nothing else, like if I had nothing else, it would just be the mascara. Because for me, that just kind of, you know, it can just make a complete difference to my face. Um, but that's the one thing that I would do. Now for you, it might be that you wear a scarf. It might be that you put a really nice pair of earrings on. It might be, I don't know, it might be that you wear your hair slightly differently. It could be that you put a bit of nail varnish on. For some people I know that it's a little bit of lipstick, just something, and it hasn't got to be anything big. It can take seconds, like putting a pair of earrings on can take seconds, right? You know, it hasn't got to be anything big, but it's just for you building yourself up, taking those smaller steps. Um, to being able to step out perhaps in someone else's audience that you've never met before. So these are like really cold traffic, people you've never met, this is a completely new market that you're talking to. And you do want to kind of up your game a little bit, but you don't have the time necessarily to do the full on glam. Um, that would be my stage two um, of what I do. So stage one is the moisturizer, brushing hair, cleaning teeth. Um, stage two, if I was doing something a little bit more special, sales page, talking to someone else's audience, I would make sure always that I had a little bit of mascara on. So hopefully that has helped you guys um, just kind of understand that it's completely possible to show up regardless of what you look like um, for your business, in your business and to help you with building your brand awareness because honestly people do like it. People um, buy people, people get people and there's a whole lot of like fakeness and buffering and filtering and all of that kind of stuff um, going on which really does kind of dishearten a lot of people and it makes it really hard for some of us that aren't as comfortable with doing this um, but yeah show up as you honestly your audience will love you for it promise Make it swear. okay so stage three of all this um, is more about this what, what goes on up here rather than, you know, what's going on here. Um, you know, for me, it was about building the know, like, and trust. It was about being consistent. It was about getting momentum. So I had to focus on all of that. That was my main thing. That was the overriding factor, over and above everything else. So even on the days when I thought, oh my God, go back to the bathroom, you look horrendous. Um, somehow I would still manage to show up because I knew, I knew in my heart parts, I had to make my business work. And, you know, showing up regularly, being there, keep talking to them, keep telling them, keep teaching them, keep showing them, keep giving them lots and lots of content, keep giving them lots of value. Um, that's what helped my business grow um, to the point that we're, you know, that we're at now. So it's kind of, your mindset, the thing that you think, your focus, your overriding passion, the thing that you really, 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 really want to deliver, that's the thing that should be over and overriding your, oh, I don't think I look too great today. Um, people, honestly, people aren't really interested in what this looks like, yeah? They're interested in what it is you can do for them. That's what they're interested in. That's what they want. Um, you know, I have a post that I put on my Instagram feed and it is, are you gonna let a little bit of lippy stop you from building your business today? Now seriously, think about that, right? So if you're one of these people that can't show up online because you don't have your face on, are you really gonna let makeup stop you from building your business? 
Think about that, right? Just that little statement, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? That we as people would stop building our business just because we don't have a little bit of lipstick on. Um, and when you kind of think about it like that, then you think, God, my business needs to be way more than some crummy lipstick. Um, and to prove a point, just, just give me a second. Now, you only have to go back through some of my feed, some of my stuff, and you will see me looking just like this. And I can tell you now that actually, um, on my Instagram stories feed, this, this here, dressing gown, you know, fuzzy hair, nothing going on here. Um, that's how you'll find my Instagram stories feed because uh, first thing in the morning is when I check my notifications, it's quite likely um, that I'll drop into my stories feed, say good morning, let people know what's going on, what happened yesterday, what I've seen on my feed, all of that kind of stuff. I think we get so drawn in to the peer pressure of looking perfect, um, but actually your perfect client isn't going to be concerned about what you look like. I mean, unless you're in the makeup industry, you're in that kind of industry. But I think even then, you know, you've only got to look at some of the big bloggers, like the big beauty bloggers, the big beauty YouTubes out there. They still tip up looking like this to show you the transformation. And I think that's what's important. You know, it's, it's about the quality of the content you put out. It's about getting the quality following back. Because if those people are concerned about what you look like, and they are concerned with the fact that I'm sitting here on my YouTube channel in my dressing gown, then you're probably not someone that I want to work with. So it's, you know, for me, it works as a polarizing thing. It just, it enabled me to show up in my business in those early days when I was really hectic, had very limited time, didn't have time to make myself look pretty, um, you know, all the association of pretty, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So please don't be overly concerned about looking brilliant and all, you know, all that jazz that goes on. Don't let the peer pressure get to you. Have that overriding factor in your mind of your focus is your business and not necessarily what you look like. And the people that are watching you, following you, learning from you, absorbing your content, um, loving everything you put out, are quite likely not to give two hoots about what it is this looks like because they'll actually love you for what goes on inside of here. So yeah, that's just my little piece. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know that it is a little bit different. The subject is a little bit different from what I have been giving you, but I do get tons and tons of questions around this kind of stuff. People ask me all the time, how do you do it? How do you show up online? Does it not bother you? How can, you know, it's all that kind of stuff, but honestly, you just have to create that little happy medium area for yourself. Um, and honestly, this will help you to show up in your business each and every week without fail. Please do like, share, comment. I wanna know, what is it? What's your trick? What's your one thing? that helps you to show up online in your business. I'm here each and every week on a Wednesday. New videos come out at 8 p.m. GMT. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell thing, the new bell thing, because then you'll get each and every subscription that I put out and all that kind of jazz and yeah, I'll see you next week.